I, I thought you were going to call in tonight because your car was stuck in the driveway and you couldn't make it to work. <laughs> no, no, no. I, uh, I'm getting better in my old age uh, when That's snow, right. you know, piles up. In fact, I, I you know, I, normally I would leave it to the end, but uh, I, I'm getting faster, a little bit better, smarter. And uh, we did uh, shoveling, had the boys over this weekend. So they, uh, they came out and helped me shovel in in uh, in steps but uh yeah what uh what a dumping that was and again uh the groundhog didn't uh didn't good old wires and willie uh one of the furry rodents they said in early spring i think it uh, applies for everywhere except for uh for us they're enjoying like 17 degrees down south today down in well, uh ajax uh oshawa my hometown it's uh, i think 15 17 degrees there this afternoon well, I have some news for you. Don't put your snow shovel away because tomorrow at two o'clock, remember Lori Ball win? Yes. Well, she won. She she, she was the highest. She, highest she the bidder highest winner, for the, highest the bidder. auction. Yeah, for the uh, the Cat Bay Dip. We raised money for the Anti Hunger Coalition Timmins. And one of the auction blocks was you and I, Kins and Klopp Live Services, for the next big snow dump. And now, of course, we, listen. We had some snow, and we're going to Lori's tomorrow at two. You're not going to be telling me you shoveled all day today and you have a sore back tomorrow, right? You're not already planning the excuses? Never, never, <laughs> never. <laughs> never. I, I would never bail. And again, uh, you know, I know Janice out there says that uh, she she wants to come by and videotape this. We're actually going to videotape this. So you're going to see us shoveling in real time. Here's a, they, you should check it out. It, 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 it's Chris Gardner. You you know him, the the, the, the from Thunder the golf Bay, god. golf god. Yeah, yeah, he must be cursing uh, the the NGA event. He, he must summer. be cursing when he sees this snow because you know he's ready to see some some grass on the links, my friend. I, I think so. I think all summer enthusiasts have had enough of snow. I think it was Janice who had a, a post saying, "I think everybody's sick of winter." It's not that we're sick of it. I think we're uh, we're done tolerating winter right now. Uh, it's time. It's it's time time to move on. It is. Into, well, Kinsman, into, into the melt. Guess what? I, I had some big news this weekend. I, I got a new PlayStation game. <laughs> you sure that was the big news? No. Pe- 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 people, well, ra- I- pe- people razzing you that uh, yeah. you, you kept it a secret from me. When yeah. I said, is there anything big happening in your life, uh, you know, after the show? And you said, oh, no. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> there we go. Well, well yeah. I propose now, you know, Terry said she was waiting patiently for, for four years. Four four years. Did did I do it right? Kinsman is it's four years enough time too soon in your opinion. No, I, I I think that's a, that, that is a fair span of time. And again, look at, look at, you you can't chisel the smile off her face. Terry's (laughs) smile has been uh, gleaming since, uh, since you, uh, you popped the news. Uh, A lot of people asked if I was, uh, if I streamed it on Kins and Klomp with, which I didn't, but I, I think I want to stream the wedding though, right? That'd be fun, <laughs> you know? It, 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 here's what's going to happen. Right before our I do's, Mark's going to stop and say, and uh, this uh, this moment brought to you by Downtown Timmins. <laughs> <Not that. laughs> Every piece of the wedding will be sponsored. I will always <laughs> think about the revenue for the show. I, right. I, joked when, I, I joked, I said, you know, when, uh, you know, there's a clause in Kins and Klopp Live, you know, when one of us dies first, uh, whoever's still around needs to stream the funeral. Yeah. <laughs> hey, here comes the bride. And don't forget to get your business cleaned yeah. by DAP Cleaning Solutions. <laughs> right? You got it all locked down, yeah, right? right? So someone spilt their champagne in the, the, the right. couple rows in the pews there, the church right. pews. Yeah, uh, it's time for the father of the bride. Oh, it's another snow day tomorrow. Brought to you by Lucian Transportation. <laughs> we get the joke now. Uh, happy wife happy life is this happy true? wife happy life and again uh, people people wondering what the subject uh, the topic of discussion was tonight mm-hmm. now that you are engaged uh, we're gonna we're gonna make sure that uh, you're on the, the the right path and again we're gonna we're gonna put it more towards us uh, as a business uh, a relationship yeah. tonight Thank right you. yeah now n- now you asked me if i got terry a cubic zirconia ring you think i, I was that not. cheap <laughs> I did not. Did it turn black in the shower, right? Yeah. I think it's green. <laughs> right? No. Yeah. There's Lisa Picard. Hi, Lisa. Saying yes, the, the newly engaged couple. Oh, look. Uh, Joanne said her brother dated, uh, they dated for 11. Could you have held off another seven years or would have kicked me to the curb? Yeah. Well, it's funny you say that. Uh, there, was a, there was an article online. Did you know that uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn 
have been together all their lives and still have not, uh, they haven't said the words, uh, will you marry me? They've been uh, together their entire time, but uh, they, they have not popped the question. <laughs> the the guys that when we went to go to the snowmobile club, they said, Oh, you got engaged. You're, you're tired of being happy. <laughs> <laughs> right. All, all the, uh, all the, the, the newly engaged jokes. Yeah, my, uh, my friends party. call me and they, they don't ask when the wedding date is. They want to know when the bachelor, party when the bachelor is. party. Yeah. I've actually, I was talking to a few of your, uh, your gentlemen there. They said, uh, what weekend's that? So I guess we're going to have to <laughs> yeah, the, the They didn't even weekend. ask when the wedding date was. They want to know, okay, we got Vegas. We got errors. Where are we going, Club? Yeah, so, someone said anywhere other than Ontario. So uh, we might have to pack our bags for a weekend. We'll have to see. Yeah. Make sure you laugh at all my jokes, no matter how corny. Oh, yeah. I already do that. Yeah. <laughs> the complimentary. That's why I think my stuff is funny because yeah. you laugh that I come on the show and I get crooked. <laughs> uh, happy well, happy slice, happy house. It uh, takes two from Sheila. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And again, look at look at Terry smile. I don't think I've seen Terry smile that uh, like. Mm -hmm. Are your cheeks sore, Terry? Yeah. And and then then you know what I did? You know me, late forties. I drank a big bottle of wine, Kinsman, that night. Oh, yeah, what happened? Yes, I, I well, I saw you at uh, we went to the uh, the snowmobiling, the family yeah. fun ride there with uh, the Timmins Snowmobile yeah. Club. Golden Link family yeah. trail. <laughs> Robin says they were engaged for seven years. Seven yeah. years. Everyone does it differently. Terry does have the patience. And again, there's no, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no manual for, you know, just because so and so they they meet, get hitched, you know, in you know, a matter of a couple of years, you know, <laughs> as they say, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Someone's already getting into the the spirit of winning. Full beard. The hashtag full beard yeah. is. The grand right. prize tonight. Someone's going to be uh, joining us, hopefully, on uh, March seventeenth, and it could be someone who qualifies give tonight a, for give our St. Patty's detail. Day party. All right. So, because you know, Terry just wants to stare at us all night here, Kinsman. A, a, a few details. So, so, Terry, like, obviously, we, you know, we're in social media and we like to blast everything, but 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 Terry's a lot more private. So it was a private moment, but nothing cannot be done without her mom and her dad uh when we say private mom and dad are all, all they're mm. they're a very close family so, yeah. so they were over too and uh yeah i i made a speech um you know uh, it, it, essentially w w what i told her is that you know sometimes you could be a little moody you could be a little cranky but your type of mood you're my type of moody you're my type of cranky but mostly sh she supported me through everything and she really has and she's my best friend and then i proposed and uh she said yes. What if she said no, though? <laughs> are, 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 are you prepared for the no? Because it happens. <laughs> They've got those date camp. You know when they when they go to uh, you know uh, national hockey league games and they they, they pan the crowd. You, you see the odd one who does the proposal the in no. front of thousands, <laughs> and there there is the odd no. But I, I, I'm I'm thinking, I'm I'm thinking yeah. those people. You know, probably mm -hmm. that, that that's their last last resort right. no, I, it, I better propose to them in front of the you know toronto the crowd Bay. right <laughs> well, well, well they say yes I, I i i did plan a trip at christmas you know we we're gonna go right after christmas but then with all whatever well, all the COVID crap, yeah, we, so, we, you, you couldn't do it so yeah maybe, and, maybe this christmas and 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 then we danced we slow danced and uh and what was the song what was the song well it's not going to be our wedding song but it actually played marry me the new jennifer lopez song from the movie with owen wilson which we both really like <laughs> yes and then we and then we drank some wine we did some karaoke which is our which is our style and yeah. uh we partied till about 11 p.m. <laughs> 11 p.m. <laughs> We're wild. <laughs> Things got lit around you. I think I texted you at 1045. Get over here, Kinsman. Last yeah, night. Yes, I was doing I had my boys. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, boy, yeah. Boys were already last, like, there was about this much wine left. All right. Uh, Kinsman, come over for the last sip. <laughs> It's okay. You didn't miss Jamie's terrible singing. Yeah. I, I forgot all the words in karaoke because I drank like too much wine. Uh, uh, Susan says, my husband and I got engaged after two weeks, married a year later and celebrated 38 years. That's Last pretty awesome. October. Well, congratulations, Susan. Selena yeah. says, uh, congrats. Uh, Hubby and I got engaged after three months of dating. LOL yeah. from uh, Joanne. Yeah. And uh, uh, they're still going strong. <laughs> Wayne is still alive after 14 years. There's still hope. LOL. 
Always have to put the LOL at the end of those yeah. statements, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. People don't take it too seriously. No. Met my hubby in February, first date in May, engaged in June, and married in July. Oh, wow. Married 30 years. So there you go. Well, congratulations, Barb. Yeah. Dave, uh, hashtag, or hashtag full beard. He's, uh, he's getting in for the prizes tonight. Lori's going, ah. We're going to see Lori tomorrow when we're shoveling her driveway. Again, uh, we... <laughs> We are uh, two uh, gentlemen of our word. And again, when you win an auction with uh, Kids and Clomp Live, if it's shoveling, we'll, uh, we'll be there for shoveling. So we've got uh, some shoveling mm-hmm. to do. <laughs> been married six years. Uh, her and her hubby. Uh, g- oh, oh, no. Been together six years. They get married July 23rd of the summer. Well, awesome. Congratulations, Rochelle. I, awesome. I think summer weddings are the best, personally. Laughter and communication. A lot of people so. do get married uh, in the winter, though. You do, you, you do hear of the odd winter get away there we go oh there's one of my friends uh, voting for a bachelor party in vancouver yeah. so, that's bb is that uh, is that b rad black yeah yeah that's right uh he's <laughs> vancouver is a good call uh j-lo couldn't stay married herself yes <laughs> my hubby proposed at the dinner table in front of his parents with a little box in the middle of a fresh pizza there you go right <laughs> Uh, were, were you afraid that you were going to drop the ring, uh, go down the uh, you know the vent in the was, in the living room? Did you have it all prepared, well, making sure that you, you, were your hands sweaty doing this? Yeah, I, I was a little nervous for someone who talks all the time, of course, but I was more afraid dropping the Great Danes eat it. <laughs> then that'd be a rough you have to wait uh, twelve hours. A for, recovery uh, mission would not have been pleasant. outside pumping the Rangers tail or rookie. <laughs> there we go. Nineteen twenty three years. Twenty three years with his wife. Yeah, Brittany years. says hashtag full beard. Thirteen years for them. Uh, Amanda Roy. Twenty five years next year. Thirty ish together. Awesome, Lisa. Janice met Wayne on an online dating site, engaged after three years of dating, then married six months after. So my four years, it sounds like I waited a long time then. Some of these folks got engaged right away. Well, I guess if you know, you know, right? Uh, Robin says, my husband handcuffed himself to me at college uh, at a (laughs) college Halloween party. He asked me to marry him six months later, and they've been going strong ever since. Uh, Joanne, uh, we got married October 11th, 1980. Robert there's, there's, Vegas. there's another one of your buddies there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Vegas. You know what's funny? I've never been to Vegas, so that'd be fun. Hey, there's Robbie G. He's swinging back towards uh, Timmins. You know that? Yeah, he's going to be coming Indian back Europe. in May. And uh, Robbie, we're going to we're going to have a, a bucket of our Kids and Clop Live 705 yeah. ready for you when you get here. L- listen, last time you had the pass through here is restrictions and everything. This time it's fully open. Um, we're going to pack the place yeah, for him. You, you got to go see it. It's good. Yeah, he puts on an amazing show. So and check him out online, too. You know what I love about Robbie G? Not only does he do like online performances when he's on tour, he'll do yeah. like a, a, a question question and answer with with his bands like an hour before the show it's really cool and personalized so. very very engaged with his Good viewers up. and again you know it's someone who uh doesn't take his fame for granted without uh, people watching and supporting uh you're you know there's no show right so again robbie uh, always giving back and again when he comes back to timmins you know you and i are going to be there it's going to be fun we, we're going to get our oh, tickets robbie yeah we'll definitely be there they uh so Lorianne, uh, they started going out April the 27th, engaged at Christmas, Christmas, and married the, at the year. I like that. No kidding. Wow. Right. Right. And again, we, you know when you know. There's Colin. Congratulations to a happy couple. <laughs> yes, I shed in tears, of course, Terry. <laughs> For Terry. <laughs> As, uh, well, remember the one show, uh, you, you, don't, you don't show your emotions. Uh, did you, did you, you showed some emotion for the, for the engagement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, Listen, run to Vegas and get married. This is my first choice. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, it, the Terry's very close to their parents. So I'd be coming home to a, a he would chop me up with the snowblower. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is what I want. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Robbie G, the shirt. Robbie G, there, 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 Robbie G, there's your number one fan right there, Joanne. She, uh, she's still looking for a shirtless selfie from you. There's hashtag full beer. There's uh, Chad looking to uh, get into the winning tonight. Hey, Chad. Uh, Louisa, 22, 22 years yeah. together, 37 years this summer. Amazing. Yeah. Did our 25th anniversary in Vegas, uh, Lorraine. And I'm getting, you know, looking at some of the prices because of COVID right now. So, so, so cheap. Uh, you know, uh, the prices are uh, very inexpensive. 
Tell me this was a radio. This was a radio win, right? You just didn't this crash. Radio win. No, I, I, didn't, All right. uh, I didn't crash. I didn't crash. Anybody's wedding. <laughs> No, they, uh, uh, they won. They won the. They won their trip uh, on uh, on my show that day. And Lori they, single. Uh, we, we flew them down to Jamaica. Yeah. I thought you just showed up in their honeymoon. Hey guys, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> single, never engaged, never married. Well, the the right person's coming your way, Lori. Lori's got a big heart. Very, she will find There's that. Nancy, thank congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nancy and uh, April Bailey. Congrats, thank young you, lovers. We love uh, <laughs> young April. lover. Oh, I like that. Eh? <laughs> I'm still young and hip. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a Monday, but uh, I'll be there. Robbie G. That's uh, Melissa. A big fan of Robbie G. As well. I take my kids to bed. I don't know. Well, I mean, eh. depends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd rather do like a separate trip with them, but like on this one, be like you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh more people in for the the full beard again uh, full beard on the 17th uh you can buy tickets five bucks we're going to be there doing a saint patty's day party the balladeers will be performing and again it's uh, five bucks to get in you get green ale and uh your your table paid for if you uh you know qualify with us tonight we'll uh, we'll get you in you're off the hook <laughs> Sarah's just in there Sarah. did you want to read any of the sponsors or anything yeah, no. take Mark's job okay all right Terry has now left the sure, show Terry's just, you by. Terry's just in there okay. sponsored with our show. <laughs> she's off the hook uh, she, I love this they're doing a back year, uh, backyard barbecue wedding I love that idea I, I, I find it's very personable. It, it, it's less formal. I'm, I'm sure like the, the crowds, everyone invited is going to love that. So Mark, well, Mark that's the question. is it a, do, do you like the tuxedos? Everybody all, you know, in a, a nice space or do you like the more casual style when it comes to the way? Um, well, are you, are you guys the same? Uh, you and Terry, when it comes to that, is it, you know, somewhat the, the, nice, the church setting and some, you know, you get no, married in uh, I, 20 minutes and you know, uh, that's that. <laughs> well, so Terry's indigenous, so I think we're going to be married. We're we're hoping to be married uh, by like an elder, which is a, a very cool traditional uh, ceremony. So maybe from uh, Gary. Remember, Gary was on the show. Yeah, yeah, Gary and or Jules. So she's speaking with mm -hmm. them right now. So I think that would be very cool. But I definitely want the party to feel casual. Uh, I just feel people are more comfortable. Um, but you know, it's not my choice, Kinsman. You know, it works. I just got to know the date. And you're gonna, you, you, you're, you, you've now joined the smile and nod, and again, happy, happy wife, happy life line. Now, <laughs> we met uh, through work. Yeah. Uh, oh, supposed to be in Mexico and had to cancel. Yeah, exactly. Terrible to just yeah. Um, I bet Jamie wears Crocs to his wedding. It's 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 a pretty solid bet right there. Crocs are because you, you want to be comfy, right? Uh, you don't you don't want to have blisters on your wedding night. <laughs> I think I would a hockey wedding, right? Selena's a big Leafs fan. A uh, pig well, roast. Amanda said uh, a pig roast at hers. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Joanne said my, my son yeah. and wife and kids are uh, going on their Disney cruise next week. The one that got canceled on us when uh, COVID hit. So yeah, well, a lot of crew, a, a lot of everything here's, opening up again. Here's what I think. I think it should like represent the two people. So if they're outdoorsy, that and I, I love the backyard barbecue idea. And some people yeah. are more formal. I, I don't think there's one way to do a wedding. Who 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 would cater at your backyard barbecue? Yeah, you, you can't be doing the cooking at your own wedding, right? You'd have no. to. You had, I know a couple. Yeah, you, you'd, ask, you'd ask me to do them, right? I would ask you to do the cooking. Right. They're, they're they're all well done steaks. Here you go. <laughs> they're all well you done know? steaks. Throw, throw them all on the barbecue. You go and have a few beers. You know, oh shit, I was supposed to supposed to get your yeah your 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 medium well <laughs> right no do what fits your needs yeah there, there there is no i don't think there's any there's traditional way, way to do anything and couldn't no. yeah so it was a good weekend all right so i want to have a little bit of fun with this because we you know uh, uh, we're getting a lot of good comments that people are in like uh, long, like long successful long term successful awesome relationship here because we always hear about the negative like the divorce rates and all that, but it's awesome to hear that, uh, you know, f folks have, have find their soulmates because, uh, you know, Kinsman, you're next in line. 
Uh, Am I next in line? The gods, the gods have blessed you, my friend. <laughs> well, what is it at uh, the wedding? Uh, the, the ladies have to catch the bouquet. What do the guys have to catch? Anything? The guys <laughs> always run away from that thing, right? You know, you know the joke, right? It come, the guard are there. They they always, they always run away from it. But I, I pulled up. Now I haven't seen this yet. But I pulled up a compatib- uh, like a compatibility test. And I thought, well, Terry and I are always compatible, but maybe I'll see with my business partner. If we're, I'm see if we're, we're compatible to be business partners. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm, gonna, I, I'm just going to go out a limb before we <laughs> answer these. I'm going to say we're pretty compatible. We're uh, what, uh, right. a year in, how many right. months in to this? Now, I'm going to say we're doing something right. All right. So let me, I'm actually going to post this link in the comment section. Okay. Uh, and now and everybody is, can follow along with this, now, same, this same test. Now, this is a partner compatibility. So hopefully there's, you know, <laughs> there's only 10 questions. Last time we did it was 30. It was too much. 30, right? We were here till like 11 o'clock at night. So we're not going to keep you that long. You, you want to find out if, if we're compatible, my friend? Or yeah, what? Do I need a pen and paper for this? No, you don't need a pen. Come on. It's 2021. So I'm going to need my, I'm gonna need my bifocal. I can't even see. All right. So where it says it's a couple, I'm just going to say it's a business partner, okay? Okay. So as business partners, would you say that we share a common vision for our future? Not really, yes. not at the moment, mostly yes or yes? I'm going to say that's a, that's a big yes. Yeah, we, okay. uh, we have the same I, vision. Okay, yeah, same vision. I visit. agree. So you're collecting okay. that, okay? If someone asked how compatible we were as business partners, what would you say? Uh, I don't give it much thought. Uh, we don't have much in common, but we're okay. Uh, we're not perfect, but we're a strong couple, uh, but or we're very connected. <laughs> I'm going to say we're very connected. All right. Well, we're, we're for, 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 for not knowing each other. You know, it's funny. You know, people say you know, we've been together uh, years, you know, doing this business. No, I remember I didn't even friend. I wasn't even friends with Clomp on Facebook till la- it was la- it was uh, October of 2020. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I know it's... Um, I, I know, Janice, it's hard to read, but I did post the link. You, you could actually do it there. Yeah, link's on our comments, Janice, so you can click and follow along. Very connected, yeah. I thought it was just me. Is that, Like, I can't see. Do I need bifocals? I'm 44 now. Yeah, I'm yeah. What's happening here? I need to do the love language test with my fiance. Okay, yeah. Oh, I will. Game changer. I- we, we can turn that into an episode, April, and we'll bring April on to uh, she she can be the uh, the moderator for that one. <laughs> we'll yeah, April let's on. let's get let's get in contact with April and bring her on. Okay, our political views, night and day. We avoid talking politics. We scream our different points of views. A few things match, or we're similar. We uh, we avoid it like the plague. <laughs> Do we? Okay. No. Uh, when it comes to religion, uh, it causes an argument. We, we argue time to time. We differ in some ways. Or we're very similar. I don't even I know. Think I think we're very similar because uh, I've never gone to church with you and you've never gone to church with me yet. So I think <laughs> yeah. we, we, we share similar uh, backgrounds there. What do we do in our spare time, Kinsman? Uh, so we don't spend any free time together. Uh, we argue a lot about not spending enough free time together. <laughs> we pursue our hobbies separately. Or we have a nice balance between shared interests and separate hobbies. I'm going to say a balance between uh, shared interests and hobbies. Okay. Yeah. Number six out of only 10 this time, pal. When it comes to finances, we don't talk about money. We have different attitudes when it comes to money. It causes some arguments. We keep them separate and we're responsible for our own money. We tend to agree on most things when it comes to money. Uh, I'm going to say we keep it separate and uh, we don't bug each other about it. Okay, well, we have a business account, so. Uh, How how do we share our laughter together? We don't have a sense of humor. Our humor jars with one another. We giggle some time to time, and we share a laugh on most days. I'm going to say we share a laugh on most days. (laughs) Including today. Uh, Okay. All right. Uh, During the holiday season, we split up and visit our own families. We can agree because it causes massive disturbance. It says Rose, but this is a British survey. Uh, We spend the holiday season away from our families as it makes life easier. We've always planned ahead in order. uh, We always planned ahead in order to head off conflict and take it it in turns. I don't know. Why is that all negative? Isn't that? I think we plan. We plan around that. Uh, It was like the the time when you went to Thunder Bay. You know, no matter where we go, we can always uh, Uh we will always make time for family. Oh, dude, we're in big trouble now. Uh Uh-oh, what's this one? 
Um, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Did, did, did we not uh, pan through the questions before we hopping not, on? We is, are, this a, is this a, a real serious relationship question for, for business okay. partners? I'm just going to read it. And we have to give it an answer uh, because we have to submit the compatibility test. But I'm just going to read it. All right. Let's see this. How close are you when it comes to sex and intimacy? Well, we just have, uh, we, we just have mechanical sex. We are <laughs> passionate. We like to hold hands and cuddle. Our intimacy is uh, is important to us, and we've always made time to be close. <laughs> didn't you screen this thing? Uh, I didn't. I didn't screen it. No, but you know what? I am going to say uh, it was uh, was it Joanne who noticed uh, in our in our Imagine Cinemas video. If you see our little preview there, she says our elbows are touching. I think that's the only uh, intimate part uh, that we've. <laughs> she she said we must get along well because our elbows were touching during okay. that uh, that segment. <laughs> All right, so we'll say mechanical sex. We'll say, yeah, we're mechanical or else HR. Do you even have an HR department for Kenya? Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, Finally, they're going to get, get involved here with this. Okay, uh, number 10. When it comes to uh, talking about raising a family, how similar are our, our ideas? We muddle along. It's a bone of contention. We realize that we have to compromise and we sh or we share the same values and beliefs. I'm going to say we share the same values and beliefs. Oh, yeah, when it comes to our kids. All right, are you ready? Are you ready for the results? Uh, I don't know what's this going to say. Are, are oh, we compatible? Oh, I had to consent to giving my personal data. So here comes a, a fake Jamie Klomp Facebook account. Tomorrow. That's right. Um, okay. So we have similar beliefs and values about the important things in our lives from family and friendships and managing money. We have a strong and secure relationship, but we need constant and consistent nurturing. <laughs> <laughs> We need to be babysat. We need to be babysat. Yeah. No. <laughs> right. It's true, right? We always need a good <laughs> eye. Oh, 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 oh. I think it was the mechanical sex that gave us the downgrade. Yeah, yeah. They're like, well, hey, if they're they're not compatible, there, there's, uh, there, there's, uh, that's that's a red flag according to this thing. <laughs> okay. Well, we, we, hey, we, we got to work on, we got to work on that here. Did, 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 dig into it some more, kids. But if you if you if you want to talk about what you're looking for, <laughs> no. Okay. I, I, I think that's good. But anybody taking the the quiz, you know, go and click on it, uh, <laughs> fill it out yourself, and then post yep. in the comments what uh, what you got. More spooning, uh, ha ha. <laughs> Run him a bath more often. I agree, Kinsman. You know, a hard day at work, just start my bath and then beat it. <laughs> right. And then after the bath, you know, the Crocs, uh, you know, the, the slippers and the, the newspaper. People after actually read the newspaper still yeah, in the, the, the digital world that we live in. Uh, my dad still runs it, but uh, yeah. I, I, I want to know. It, it is a great question. So, for the folks that have been th that are married in a happy marriage, like I'm wondering, like if they did this compatibility test, because I personally believe that you don't need to agree on everything. Why? Like some people are equal. Like, where they always have to say yes to the same thing. It's good to have uh, a differing of opinion. When mm -hmm. it comes to you know relationships, you don't want to be too compatible. If you're too compatible, you're like a TV show, right? One of the old right. day shows. Here, I'm really dating myself. Oh. Uh, Leave it to Beaver. Remember that? Remember that old TV yeah. show way back in the day? I remember. Leave you'd it grow up with uh, you know Ward and June Cleaver as yeah. your parents. <laughs> I'm trying to give us hip music for the show to make us see me younger. And now you mentioned Leave it to Beaver. Nope, just communication. Oh yeah, a thousand percent. <laughs> Robin's right. All right. So I I guess if we ever need a a, a business partner uh counselor, there's a lot of good people here. Yeah, we we have here's some, some good advice. Hmm? Here's some good advice. Oh yeah, from uh Louis. I thought you were gonna read that. I didn't I didn't want to cut you off here. She says uh <laughs> Uh, expiry date, uh, expiry date, expiry date on everything. Almost uh, so when I got mad at my husband one day, I was looking at our marriage, asked what for. I told him I uh, was looking for the expiry date, LMAO. He thought it was funny. It is funny. <laughs> I like, that. I like that. It is good. Wayne and I never agree on anything. LOL. We just annoy each other. Well, see, uh, annoying is uh, that's a uh, the that's actually a, a big side of uh, flir flirting right there. That's, yeah, you're right. that's fun flirting, right? Uh, no, I am social and hubby's a hermit. So there we go. Opposites attract. That was Paul Abdul's song. Remember that, Kinsman? Communication Absolutely is not, key. Lisa says. She says uh, com communication is key. 
And you can't sweat the small stuff. No. You should both have your own identities and views, but respect at the forefront. Isn't that okay? I think that's not just an awesome message for relationships. That's an awesome message for all the difference of opinion in the world right now. Yeah, I think it is. It, it, it's like it's, it's like the post where people, you know, and they say, if you don't like someone's opinion, you, you could just scroll by that. that that's, that's where that comes into play. For, for Pete's sake, sake, Mark, I'm older than you. I'm not ancient. Joanne. Joanne's not ancient, no. <laughs> Joanne walks like 10 kilometers a day. She's, and she's, she's walking like, very cool. Did you see uh, Joanne? She got one of, her, uh, one of our new coats. Yeah. Also a part of the auction. She, uh, she got that for 80 bucks. Part yeah. of our uh, Cat Bay Dip. Money going she's to a, uh, the Annie she's Hunger the, Coalition. She's the most athletic person I know. Uh, just be yourself Love every day and grow into a different person than yesterday as individuals and as a couple. I'm getting so this is some really good advice. This is way better. You tell me just to have a beer. <laughs> right? This is this is a thousand times you, better. You're, you're right getting now. uh yeah, it's better to get uh viewer viewer opinion on this. My hubby's social uh and I'm well, I'm hermit. the hermit, Amanda right. is uh, the hermit and her, but her relationship. Robin had said she's social and her, her hubby's the hermit. Yeah, so it's yeah. But you know what's funny? When uh, Robin and uh, John were down in uh, Jamaica, I was down there for their their wedding. Uh, John John comes out of his shell. He's not a hermit down there. I'm gonna say yeah. that right now. He uh, he had some fun down there. Oh yeah, he's, he's Jamaica. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> honestly, uh, what, what, what happens in Jamaica stays in Jamaica. Once that is broken, you're doomed. You're a thousand percent right. It's like w when my mom was still here. Always, my dad's a hermit. Always bugged my dad to go out and socialize and have fun. So they went to Ireland because they have family there. And about a weekend, she complained, "Oh, you should see your dad. He's out every night drinking with the boys. He started smoking a couple cigarettes again. He's talking all the time. Like, is that what you wanted for like forty years? <laughs> he got out of his shell, and then he got in shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a um, trap, isn't it? It's a trap. Ooh, important to discuss mutual finances, money yes. differences. Yeah, that's yes, a good one. Money differences can uh, contribute to disagreements. I wonder if Derek's in in, in banking. Yeah. Are you in bank, uh, banking now, there, Derek? It sounds like a good a good like in, in investment. That's an advice. investment advice. Yeah, he's, he's always been a real smart guy, though. Uh, mum, you were married too many times. <laughs> Your mum, Janice's hmm? mum. I think maybe Janice's mum. Always or learn. maybe that's from her kid saying that. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Always know. learn and grow from Lynn. Yes. Yeah. Very true. And Rochelle says, uh, myself and Joel are different in many ways. I'm loud and obnoxious. I can't help it. He's quiet and reserved and tend to be embarrassed, uh, tend to embarrass him a lot, but he loves it secretly. I can there tell. You go. Ha, ha, ha. That, that's the evil ha, ha, ha. You can just picture uh, Rochelle <laughs> doing the evil, the evil laugh there. Oh, Brooke's 14th birthday today. Hey, Brooke Lynn. Happy yeah. birthday, Brooke. Happy bur birthday, Brooke Lynn. Yeah. The snowboarding, the, the way, or I shouldn't say snowboarding, wakeboarding uh, champion. She's uh, She's got the bragging rights. Uh, best wakeboarder in uh, in all of Canada. Once he had a few beers, yeah, he socializes. And there you go. Derek Gay works at the Bank of Canada. There are you do. Yeah, that, that was a very bankish question or a yeah. comment, Smart Derek. Derek. That's uh, great. Uh, you, you have to laugh together. Oh, I see her mom's Kelly. Who's commenting on the show. Well, hello, oh, okay. Janice. All mom. right. Kelly, stay. I, I, we're, as they say, you learn something new every day. I, I did not know Kelly is Janice's mom. So happy, yeah. uh, going to the chapel and we're going to get married. But first we go to Lori's house tomorrow. For yeah. We're, we're shoveling Lori's years. driveway. I hope you didn't shovel today, yeah. Lori. Keep it all uh, to 2 p.m. tomorrow. I, I hope you j j just let yeah. Phil up because Kinsman, you know, he's bragging today how good of a shoveler he I can't wait to see. He, he's he's going to need like yeah. 43 iced teas or something. <laughs> I can pour Lori's got to come out with the iced teas and the fan. <laughs> it's going to be a nice day, though, for uh, for shoveling. Again, yeah, there's well, no happy medium up here. It's either super cold, doesn't snow. When it gets mild, then we get a, a dumping of snow. And again, people uh, people down south. My uh, my buddies down in Ajax, uh, you know, showing pictures of you know 15, 17 degrees, mm -hmm. sunshine, no no snow at all, and then boom, here we are. What nine nine hours difference? It's uh, it's crazy. 
when are the nuptials happening? Well, actually, well, t- Terry would like to ha- for it to happen this August. So uh, we're we're working on that. <laughs> She's done. We'll, we'll, we'll have it on a non-show day. That's what we'll do. Oh, but, yeah, uh, you, right. you, you, you can you can bet your booty. I'll be uh, I'll be there streaming it at some point. <laughs> some capacity. Yes. There you go. And maybe not so much for the bachelor uh, party though. No, don't stream the yeah. <laughs> stream the bachelor up party. Oh. The porcelain hey, god here. <laughs> stream the bachelor up party. I don't know what goes on at these things, uh, and I guess we we don't want to know. We but, win uh, a, you know, so someone asked me if we we're going to give away tickets to your wedding. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Give, give away a, a you know a, a seat at the head table <laughs> from Kins and Clock Live. There you go. <laughs> right. Why yeah. not, pal? Uh, August is totally doable uh yeah 80 percent no 80 percent lisa uh t- 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 you I know told my little guys you were getting married and uh ethan goes ja- jamie getting married <laughs> <laughs> jamie so getting married. yeah and then then, then, then the, yeah. the the name malachi spits out after he's like is malachi gonna be there i'm like i'm pretty yeah. sure malachi, will, malachi be there will be there too yeah yeah they're gonna be dressed up in their little tuxes look at this don't go into debt. They made their own decorations. Our wedding was three thousand dollars only. Awesome See, that's advice. Thing. A thousand percent correct, Robin. I love right? that. Some people, you know, it's twenty, forty thousand dollars for a wedding, and boom, you're you're now spending the rest of your life trying to get out of that uh, wedding debt. Don't throw confetti. Don't throw confetti if it's outside. You you throw bird seed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, getting it all down packed i'm getting some real good advice okay pal so let's uh is, is there a couple things you want to talk about because we got to give away uh uh this full beard prize but i know you wanted to chat about a couple things uh yes let's uh <laughs> let me get over ready. here yeah i'm gonna go over here i'm doing <laughs> over this way yeah i wanted to uh, talk about this my my little guy six years old and tooth is loose it's wiggling, and uh, all weekend mm. uh, he, he's like, "Papa, look, it's wiggling even more." So uh, every meal is it going to pop out now? And of course, uh, the whole talk of the tooth fairy comes out. So what? What? What is the going rate for a tooth? Oh, it's twenty bucks. Is this is his first dollars? tooth? This will be his first one. Oh, yeah. you're in, you're in more. I don't like twenty bucks. Remember, it used to be a like, don't go when when we were a kid. It was a dollar. Okay, we even know what a dollar gets us now. Like. Gas is two bucks. So a dollar is equivalent to the penny. Don't now. even. I think first tooth is costing you twenty. I think it's twenty. Twenty. And maybe 20 some, bucks. And maybe some Pokemon cards. Like if you're if they're into there or something they like. I don't know. Let's ask the opinions here. We got ten. So ten dollars from Joanne. Ten from Dixie. Five lower. Five. Two maybe, bucks. Maybe, Two bucks now. Tooth fairy does uh, EMTs now. Is it uh, cash? <laughs> right. it? Yeah, T, you got an e transfer. <laughs> yeah, I got, a, got an e transfer oh. from the T fairy. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, Amanda right. knows. First one is twenty, then ten bucks a tooth. It's, this uh, is my so understanding. Twenty bucks for the first one. Ten dollars for every other. Now, mind you, my yeah, my kids have been influencing my uh, mm-hmm. the cost. They always say, well, John's dad gave him a 50. <laughs> well, here's the funny thing. Uh, e- e- Ethan going around and wiggling it all weekend still wouldn't come out. So, you know, every meal he's like, okay, is it going to fall out? So my 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 littlest guy, Caden, hears that all weekend. So I said, okay, boys, time to brush your teeth. And Caden's like, no, Papa, I don't want to brush my teeth. My teeth, I, I'm going to have my teeth fall out like Ethan's. So he's it- hearing us talking about uh, the tooth falling out. It's a good investment. Hey, check out what Brit Brittany's doing. Two bucks for every tooth and five yeah. bucks for the last tooth. So increase it on the last tooth. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, how much are you giving, kids? A yeah, dollar, right? No, I'll probably go. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I was thinking 10 or 20, maybe. I don't know. One buck. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah. What, one buck. Could, yeah. could come out tonight. Uh, one dollar a tooth. Lori uh, says that her dad used to tie a, a thread around her tooth. Yeah, and the other end of the tie to a door, slam the door, and boom, there goes the tooth. Does that hurt? Uh, you see those videos, right, people putting yeah. uh, you know their Nerf guns to them. I think I think it goes to the uh, uh, the spanking talk again. I remember talking with my youngest son, Aiden. You know, oh, we used to get spanked, and you know, when I was a kid, all this type of things. And Aiden says, you know what happens if we get spanked nowadays? He goes, Children's Aid Society. <laughs> <laughs> They they learn a lot in school. <laughs> they go, yeah, oh, they, no. they, they, they sure do. <laughs> Could you imagine uh, everything that uh, we had growing up and, you know, switching it around? 
I don't think any of us would be here in right last now. minute. We'd all be in a jail cell somewhere. First uh, tooth, granddaughter lost her first. She was, uh, she's six. Yeah. So uh, usually happens around six and 20 bucks a tooth from Janice. My daughter got uh, 20. That's uh, from Brenda. Thanks, Brenda, for uh, that advice. 25 from Lori. It's getting when my middle When my middle son was younger, he said it's 20 bucks a tooth and he needed a new Xbox game. That was $70. In the morning, there was four tooth, four teeth missing <laughs> with a set of pliers next to him he's like he's pulling, <laughs> pulling them all up he heard that xbox game <laughs> for uh no. five bucks and change looks more oh yeah looks like more they like that that's very clever yeah there you go april april, april thinking there thanks april and uh, rochelle says blue fairy is it a bank lol Great. first one was five now it's uh, one buck each all right yeah my son lost out in the last few. He had five extractions uh, at once. No way. Yeah, times five. Yeah. <laughs> if you have the $20 calculation, that's expensive. Never mind the, uh, the uh, dental. On top of the dental bill on top <laughs> of that. No. Uh, so five bucks. Uh, def, five definitely. bucks is good. What that's do you think you're going to go with? Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking, you know, between maybe five, ten, or twenty. I don't know. Oh, well, you got, what will happen is, if if I get the phone call, if he loses the the tooth over at his mom's, uh, you know, over here, well, uh, we'll have well, to know. You know what? Good point. Uh, so, seeing all these responses, twenty dollars is kind of scary as a parent. What happens when kids go to school? They talk about how much money they got. Some kids will wonder why others ah, are getting some very time true, money. very yeah? true, Brittany. It's the same thing at uh, Christmas. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe, 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 maybe it's candy right. or some type oh. of treat or something. Are you going to keep the tooth? I, I think, I think for the first one you do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How about toys? Yeah, could be toys. Twenty-five cents a tooth. Yeah. So I remember more, getting that's more my price range right there, Leanne. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Now, now we're back up to twenty again, and five bucks after. I think it, yeah, it's so it's so different. I thought we'd have some consistency here. And she says anything over ten is a little much. Uh, Two fairy has kids all over the world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Janice never got twenty bucks a tooth. She had cheap parents. Hey, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, twenty bucks for some parents minimum wage. That's an hour and a half of work just to pay for a tooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah no kidding. Yeah. That's, that's a cab. Much. That's a cab fare. So hey, yeah, you know what? Uh, how about that. how about uh, a gift certificate for the movie theater? Ah, yes. you know? yeah, yeah, That uh, that would be exciting. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of fun movies coming I, up, my little guy. Uh, you know, uh, Lego is it Lego? The Lego movies coming up next week. Yeah, I think they're running. They must be running March break movies. Maybe Colin can confirm. But it looks like they have like daytime shows, like ten or eleven a.m. They got the Lego Movie and Detective Pikachu. Uh, which are both awesome movies. And Batman um, opened uh, this weekend. A lot of people talking about Batman. Always fun to go to the movies. My son wanted to keep his tooth. Didn't have to pay anything. Oh, there you go, right? He's like, I'm not giving this to Tooth Fairy. I don't care what the Tooth Fairy leaves. A dollar yeah. twenty. I'm keeping the thing. I'm keeping my tooth. That's pretty All right. smart. All right, pal. Uh, pal says, uh, I think you too. go. I think you go with five bucks. I think five bucks is good. Yeah. All right. I want to talk about one more thing here before we uh, we do the draw. I wanted to uh, make a shout out again to the Seizure and Brain Injury Center here in the city. Uh, they have Purple Power for the month of March. And again, on the 26th, uh, they want to see our purple. And leading up to the 26th, they want uh, schools and everybody to take part with purple. You can be creative, uh, you know, for the month of March, display your purple artwork. Uh, they say on rocks, papers, you can also show off your purple crafts, window, door decorations. And it's funny, my uh, my little guys is Caden. Uh, I had Caden's uh, daycare uh, teachers message me on this and they're going to be doing that for uh, their daycare. And uh, my oldest there, Ethan, his, uh, his class over at uh, St. Dominic will be doing that. Yeah, that's awesome. We love them over there, and we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff with them throughout the month. But And we have our own purple gear coming. We actually should be here tomorrow, and you can see a lot of purple on the show this month. Lots of purple on the show. And again, if you want to register your class for this, uh, make sure you uh, submit by the 16th. And again, uh, you yeah. have a chance to uh, you know win some prizes from the Seizure and Brain Injury Center. I used to get $5 bills in glitter. 
and Batman. Okay, so I, I yeah, Batman, Batman, really? Well, so Batman's on the top of my list. I know this type of Batman from what I understand. I haven't seen it. Well, who, who, who is I the Batman in this one? Robert Patterson, uh, from Twilight. Oh, from but, Twilight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I think this Batman, Batman's always been a dark character, but I think this one's a little more slow paced in character development than it is action from what I understand, but I don't go big into the reviews until I've seen it. And, uh, usually well, even rotten tomatoes, uh, if it's got a terrible rotten tomatoes review, uh, I'll, st I'll still go and see it. Well, yeah, and actually have a better differing opinion than uh, rotten tomatoes. So it's going to be, yeah, yeah I, I don't believe the reviews. You got to go see yourself. Well, but Rochelle seen it. So, uh, so, so she, you know, she went directly and she, and she knows what it's all about, but uh, it's going to be tough to beat Christian Bale, Batman. Yeah, you know what? My my favorite Batman, Michael Keaton. That's uh, that's going back a bit. Yeah, I love Michael Keaton. Okay, pal, let's thank our awesome sponsors uh, and give folks if you haven't already an opportunity to put in hashtag full beard. While uh, while we're reading, uh, a big thanks to everybody who supports our show. And again, uh, during our show. You'll see the tickers at the bottom. And of course, these uh, amazing banners on our page like DAP Cleaning Solutions. Andrew N., she's uh, the one to clean your uh, your office. Uh, commercial cleaning guaranteed. Cleaning service, carpet cleaner, janitorial service, stripping, waxing windows, uh, any other cleaning, sanitizing job that you require. Uh, Anne says to give her a call for a free quote. 705-465-3500. And again, if you're a current client with Anne, start booking your spring cleaning today with DAP Cleaning Solutions. And v &M Renovations, if you go to their page, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Justin and uh, Matt are uh, getting themselves ready to uh, rock and roll for the spring renos. They're, uh, they're popping up bathroom renos, uh, how to do your decks, uh, the before mm -hmm. and afters, you know, painting. Any reno, uh, give them a call, 705-372-3832. And again, they do it all brand new to uh, the north and looking for uh, new clients today. It's uh, b and Renovations. And uh, free local delivery, there's a uh, good old full beard brewing. 12 plus beers. That's your minimum order. And if you do that before four o'clock every day, you can have uh, one of the uh, the amazing duos. Uh, it's going to be either jo Jonathan or uh, Benji. And again, uh, you can order your beers 705-268-0444. You can also email them info at fullbeardbrewing.com. And again, before four o'clock, you'll have your delivery uh, delivered that day. And win this space, the Downtown Timmins BIA. In fact, we've been eyeing uh, one of these spaces. Uh, we're going to have a little bit more on this this week uh, coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we want to get maybe involved with uh, win this space, Jamie. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. A thousand percent, my dude. A thousand percent. <laughs> and again, if you see uh, storefronts with this logo that says win this space, you have a chance to, you know, even if you have a current business, Thinking of a business, you can operate your business in that space uh, for an entire year, rent-free. And again, more detail at downtowntimmons.com. And again, you can submit a two-minute video to the Downtown Timmons BIA by March 25th for a chance to win. And again, you'll have more detail from us this week on this amazing contest. For people, uh, just before you go on to Lucian, I see a lot of people talking about Edward for Twilight. I want to know if people here were Team Edward or Team Jacob. <laughs> Where were you? Kids, I, I don't know. Well, when, when they first said he was cast to play Batman, I'm like, uh, you, you think he's been typecast as, no, you know, he's Edward got rocks Twilight. Since then. Yeah. Well, I know he's done a bit more, but you still think of him as uh, the guy from Twilight. Oh, we got a few Jacobs. Okay, go on, pal. Our good friends right. at Lucian. Yes, Lucian Transportation. Uh, question uh, Will it be a snow day tomorrow? And it doesn't matter if you're driving for Lucian or not. Uh, if you're driving with Lucian, uh, guess what? You get snow days paid. And again, they're looking for uh, new recruits. Again, for the month of March, they need new drivers. Again, 705-360-4090. And if you call up and say, uh, you know, Belinda, uh, you know, asked me to come on board. Guess what? Belinda, current driver with Lucian, will pick up $1,000 for the recruiting bonus. And the new driver picks up a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Again, 705-360-4090 to get in uh, driving uh, at the front of the bus with Lucian. And again, Purple Power, the Seizure and Brain Injury Center, the month of March is Epilepsy Awareness. 
month. And on the 26th, it's going to be purple. And leading up to purple, we want to see your purple power. Mm -hmm. And they want you to display your purple hair, makeup, nails, other creative endeavors, wear a purple t-shirt, your cap, show off yourself, your friends, family, and your pets, and then display your artwork. And if you uh, email uh, cowerwinder5656 at gmail.com or just follow the uh, Seizure and Brain Injury Center on Facebook, message them and sign yourself up today and submit your entries to uh, be part of Purple Power by March 16th. And that's a Wednesday, and you have yeah, a chance yeah. to win some prizes and, of course, uh, show off your uh, your purple power. And how about this? Uh, Plant-based Marche getting set for St. Patty's Day. Did you know that uh, we're going to be a part of, uh, you know, Full Beard that night for our St. Patrick's Day party? They are encouraging you to bring in your favorite local eats. And uh, we've reached out to uh, Plant-based Marche where they have prepared a St. Patrick's Day menu. And again, this is going to be uh, released just in time for St. Patty's Day, you can, you know, plan ahead your orders. They've got corned beef and cabbage meal, uh, lentil and mushroom shepherd's pie, uh, you name it, kale salads, grasshopper pie, St. Patty's Day cupcakes, uh, gluten-free St. Patty's Day sugar cookies as well. And uh, if you win your table, would you have a chance to qualify tonight uh, to the full beard St. Patty's Day party? You just might see a charcuterie platter because we're going to bring that with us. And again, no, plant-based marche. Kinsman, you don't have to tease it. You will. We're bringing it. We we are bringing it. Yes. And again, <laughs> check it out. Uh, I just wanted to mention Plant Based Marche uh, had their amazing. It was their maple chicken fried rice. Yeah, if you haven't had that good. yet, uh, that is uh, by far the best rice I've ever had. Again, they're located at 175 Third Avenue. And the Timmins Rock coming off, uh, you know, they had a rough last week, having a better this week, a uh, 9-3 win over uh, the Cochrane Crunch back on Tuesday. And then they took it on the road, a uh, nice 4-2 win in Sudbury on Thursday. And then on Friday, they uh, they slammed the Blind River Beavers 10-0. And the Timmins Rock coming back again on Friday. In fact, they've got back-to-back-to-back uh, -to -back -to -back games this week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Mac. So let's uh, pack it. And we'll uh, see you down there again. Timmonsrock.com for game tickets. And You're of course, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be giving away those game tickets uh, this week, Tuesday and Thursday on the show. So I, I see, uh, so we back to Edward and Jacob, lots of yeah. Edwards, some Jacobs, a lot of both. Two handsome dudes, I guess. It was tough to pick. Um, I'm going to have to say Team Edward barely wins this poll. Team, Team, Team Edward? Barely. <laughs> and uh, hey, there's uh, Justin from uh, VM Renovations. He needs more snowblowers. We need more snowblowers. Yes, oh, yes. Let's give some away on the show. <laughs> I remember he gave it away. He gave away a brand new snowblower, yeah. top of the line snowblower, too. A Cub Cadets. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's an awesome and guy. Again, uh, you know, that, uh, that winner, uh, extremely, uh, probably very pleased that uh, Justin dropped that off that day. Yeah, that top, was top, top of the line. Uh, yeah. Oh, stuck in Sudbury, bad weather, freezing rain. Well, be safe. You know, we all know what 144 looks like with freezing rain. So, yeah, if yeah. you can, uh, stay the night. Go to go to the keg and have yourself a, a, a nice night out. Yeah, you never want to chance it on these highways. You know, it's better uh -oh. to drive and, with with sunshine. And uh, Team uh, Robbie G. Team Robbie G. <laughs> yeah. Honest mm -hmm. uh, respect and learn to compromise. We, That's we, we got some good advice, pal. Are you ready to uh, give away the prize? Yes. Oh, and we have to decide here. What are we giving away for the full beard prize pack? We gave away beer uh, the last yeah. win. We what do you think another uh, full beard t-shirt tonight. You want, you want to do a t-shirt? Let's do a t-shirt. Right, and again, winners will be contacted after the show. And then you just go down to uh, full beard. Jonathan and Benji will uh, hook you up with your T-shirts. We'll put you into the March 10th draw for uh, for you to uh, to win. Jill Hardy is Jill Hardy on the list already? Yes, Jill Hardy's already won. Jill Hardy already won. So in this contest, you can only win one time. Yeah, sorry, Jill, but uh, she is into the grand prize draw. She she actually won just the other night. That's right. Uh, now you did. That's the first time we had a duplicate. A duplicate. Robin Allen. Robin Allen. That's good, Kinsman. You got the that list. Is, that is good. <laughs> All right, Robin Allen. <laughs> you won a shirt from Full Beer. Congratulations. And in the, 
So the grand prize is going to take place on the 10th, which is what? It's Thursday, right? Uh, the 10th is on Thursday. The, there you go, pal. Um, uh, so Robin yeah, Allen, and again, good. she's got a T-shirt, and she's now qualified to win our grand prize draw. That's right. So the bo- we're going to have the boys on Thursday do the grand prize draw tickets. Yeah. And if you're looking just to purchase tickets, they're five bucks. I I don't know how many are left. I, I don't think many. But the uh, it's going to be selling out quick. The Balladeers are going to be performing, and again, if you haven't seen the Balladeers play, they're coming with special guests. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a jam packed night. Green <laughs> ale, music, some fun, and again, the looser restrictions, uh, full capacity. Again, it's going to be a fun time. It'll be a good night. <laughs> right, kids. I thought you were going to continue on from there. No, no, I, I was going to stop and let you chime in yeah. there. All right. So, so we talked about the engagement, right? And then we talked about uh, our compatibility test. Now, I guess I have to say this to you, Kinsman. All right, pal. I have to redraw. Oh, Terry came down and said we had to redraw. Just was on the. Oh, Robin won already? Did she already win already? I don't have her on the list. Well, I'm going to have to add her on the list. Okay, Robin. Thank you. Terry came down and told me. All right, sorry, yeah, Robert. Redraw, re, redraw. All right, you won already. So she's in the full vote, Kinsman. All right, she's already in there. Yeah, yeah she was the first winner. That's right. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, Ooh. I didn't. I didn't see her back on. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so here's what I want people to do. Just give me a second because we have to reopen up the contest wheel. Okay. Just give me a second before you do anything, Robbins. Yeah, uh, hang on. We're going to give everyone an opportunity to uh, get, get in again. Okay. But don't click anything yet because I have to reset the... Uh, the uh... Text. Okay. Just give me a second here, pal. Make sure it's fair. Okay, yeah. So right now we'll, we'll leave it open for a few minutes if, if people can use the hashtag full beard. Oh, Kinsman, we almost had our, 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 our boo-boo on our, a similar show. Our, our first conflict yeah well okay, you know nice. there's so always four or five right. boo-boos a show but you don't want to mess that one up no we don't want to mess that one up there all right so all we're right, gonna again get, you know it yeah oh well we'll give uh every yeah an opportunity to comment full beard we'll keep that open for uh <laughs> a minute or so <laughs> and people be, be are doing that hmm? uh, all right pal make sure don't trick me have that list in front of you all right, let's go here. <laughs> Got the list here. That's good. Robin, cut off that reel. That's what that's uh, 44 recording. does. That's right, Joanne. It's uh, it's all downhill from here. All right, pal. We'll, we'll give it a few more seconds because sometimes comments take a second to get from Facebook over to StreamYard so we don't miss out on everyone. Oh, look at Janice. Hurry up, McClomp. I have a mechanical date with her. I <laughs> <laughs> it must be Sunday night. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, that's awesome. All right, pal. I think we're ready now. Uh, I am going to pull it up, and then that will give folks a couple more seconds. Okay. To get theirs in. All right. So everyone yeah. use hashtag full beard. Kinsman, you are ready. I am ready to uh, ready to rock and roll here. All right. Let's see here. It'll be Robin Allen again. Yeah, well, it could be. Louise. Check Norman. your list. Normando. All right. Check your list, pal. <laughs> All right. Uh, Louise. <laughs> no, Louise won too. Louise won also. Yeah. All right. All right. You sure? We, 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 we go again. Yeah. All these duplicate winners. Maybe you can maybe you can qualify. Lynn Draper. Lynn, are you in to win? Yes. No, no. Hmm? Did Lynn win before? No, she's not on the list here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we'll get in touch with Lynn. All right, pal. So Lynn is we finally got to the bottom of it. Well, let's double check here. Let's double there, check here. Lynn said yeah, you didn't win before. We had we confirmed it with the list. We're good to go. 
<laughs> no, no, hey. we are good to rock and roll. Lynn, because uh, her name did come up the last time, Lynn, uh, she won something with our, uh, she won a uh, $25 gift card. Tim Hortons, that's why her name, I'm thinking, okay, she's won recently, but it was uh, a different prize. So she's all good. right. So we're, we're all good. Who knows what type Lynn. of system? Reaper. Who knows what type of system we have? All right, Kinsman, now to get back to my stock joke. <laughs> so you know i had the news uh, on the weekend now we did the yeah. compatibility test um and uh you know things came out okay so i'll have to say oh kinsman kinsman will you continue to be my business partner <laughs> get my divorce divorce lawyer on the phone right now that's it we're done immediately <laughs> Escúchame, baby.